Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour with Drizzers. If you don't know us, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We are currently in Amristar and we are heading down the train station because we got to get 3A sleeper train all the way to Lucknow. We actually decided to walk to the train station today. The traffic's a bit hit and miss. We thought more can be the best option. It's absolutely crazy out this morning. That's typical India. You see like random cows on the street. Obviously everyone's keeps trying to shout us to get tuk tuks. We want to take us to the train station. No, we are rather walk. I have no idea why we decided to walk for 30 minutes when we're so limited on time. We're going to have literally 10 minutes when we get there to fight on our train. We yeah, do this all the time. Brian, this is part of like the travel experience. Obviously, seeing everything as it is, walking the streets. Because we get, we get a taxi or a tuk-tuk, we're, we're there. One moment we're in our hotel, then we're there. Yeah, it's easy, but it's not real. People want to see real. We were a little bit late this morning. We got given breakfast for the first time in our hotel. It kind of set us back on a little bit on time. It was kind of a rush to pack up and leave. So we kind of left a bit later than we planned. A delicious, traditional Amristari kutcha, I think it is, with the bread and the, and the two sides. So very, very good, very good. It's delicious, that bread was crispy, flaky. Mm. It's so good. We yeah. actually forgot to, did we take a video? Might have. If we, we did, might, we'll we show might have got one. Yeah, we'll show you. Shout out to that hotel. It's brand new. Lovely couple that own it. I'll leave the link in the description. Obviously, you haven't even seen it, but <laughs> but they're really good. So our train is actually at 10:55 a.m. and we don't arrive until 2 a.m. the next day. It is like 16 hours long. But this was literally the last train left, unless we went unreserved. We were like, we are not doing 16-hour unreserved. If you don't know what unreserved is, you ain't got a seat. You're locally standing up in the doorway. But we're actually in the 3A class, the middle and the top seats. Never done the 3A class. Obviously, us two and four random Indian people, which which would be good if you have any experience. One bit of advice, when you're booking your train tickets, book them in advance, quite far in advance, to get the seats you want. We've made it to Amistar Railway Station with Tom to spare. We've got to go and find our platform straight away. Yeah, I've already got tickets. Uh, oh, yeah. It's yeah. a QR code on his phone. We, we did it on one, two, go. Cush a little bit more, but it's the only way we could get tickets. Easiest way for foreigners to get tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the train number, Ben? So I look for your train numbers. So it's actually 10.39. Can't see it, it's being funny. So we've literally got 15 minutes. What's the train number, Ben? That one, 2 D05. Yeah, that must be the platform. Yeah, let's go check it out. Platform 5, we're on. Oh, our train's here. It's here, Ben. Right, we're looking for carriage 7. So we've got AC through tier, so we should be along here. We've got yeah. B3, so I'm guessing that's how we find it. Yeah. Alright, there's our train B7. Let's hop on and find our seats. We're 69, my favourite number, and 70. Hop on. Put that little, Ben, put that little bag in front of you. It's just gonna be tight. Yeah, go on. We're having an argument. He don't believe this is ours. Oh, I think it is. It's AC free tier. All right, go and find someone else. Sorry, it's been such a hectic ride. And literally as we got on there, I got invited from a family to go and sit with them. And I've literally been sat there for three hours. I'm I was chatting to some guy next to me. He gave me some like, it's called Pahang, Pahang Papad, which I think is like cannabis with a Papad. Really? Yeah, he gave me a little bit of that and he wanted me to have some more. And I was like, nah, I'm alright. Everyone's really nice. Everyone's really so proper speaking to us and stuff. There's not like been loads of filming and stuff. It's been lovely, isn't and it? And we've been apart a lot, haven't we? Yeah, I've been. I've not sat with you the whole time. Yeah, I've been. So I've sort of been asleep at the time. You've been asleep? We're well, not asleep, but just like dozing on the phone and that. Uh, this is one of our main stops. I think there's about three stops. You can get off and get food, and people come on and all that, um, selling food and drinks. You got any snacks? You want got wine? It's been nice, I've been sat with like a family of aunties and sisters all together and playing games as a kid pretty much and eating their food. Yeah. It's been lovely. You're so awkward. What? <laughs> yeah. Alright, there's the toilet. It probably stinks in here so I can't even breathe. But I'll come to the whole one. I've got water to clean it down. See? Mirror. Running water and soap. So everything you need, but oh, it really does stink. I think I'm going to go and 
gonna go and sit back with the girls. It's like a group of girls and they're just such a laugh. We've been sharing food and everything. So we're just sat up here on our top bunk and just look at the state of it. Look, obviously if I feel look, cross my legs, which I can't do anyway, and sit up, my head goes through about that much. Yeah, there's absolutely no chance of me doing anything but lie down. Me like that. You can't teach this. This is just like. Did you want to try? Try yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Maybe Vic comes back. All right, these are called biscuit matahi. When we went to the shop yesterday to get some water, the guy like worked there and he said you have to try these. Once you try one, you'll finish the whole bag. And what did he say about his brother? I don't know what he said about his brother, but he did. His say, brother loves these. Yeah, he said they were a home recipe. He makes them himself. Oh. Home recipe and makes them yourself, so that's what he said. That you might be telling them fibs. Well, we need to eat them now. I've ripped it all. Give it a try. Mm. It's like a flaky, very dry biscuit mm. with like a masala flavour. When you get a Bombay mix in the UK, you have little ones of these in there. I don't know if your Bombay mix in India is the same. And we are 100% going to finish the bag. They're new, but only 50 rupees as well. Oh, they're good. Good train snack. Can we get myself a coffee? Not actually feeling too tired, but it's just like a little bit boring, so it's going to take a bit of time up to get a taste. Cheers. Got it? Yeah. It's like a toffee. It's got like a masala spice as well. Oh! How did you get off here? Like the way you're doing it? I'm not doing it very much. It's open, so you meet new people. I like that constantly. There's someone coming down the aisle selling samosas or chai or bottles of water or anything. So it's just it's quite it's quite nice. It's quite relaxing. But like laid here, I'm I'm alright. So I've whacked the laptop out. Might as well get some work done. Normally we put a video up tonight. We do a video every other night, but because obviously we're on a train, we can't. And to be honest, I haven't finished editing it. We've just stopped at Delhi. It is now. Half sick, so nearly halfway through, but it is really busy at the station. I think we're going to jump off and see if we can get some food. Right, we're risking it. We're getting a drink. We have no idea how long we got here. Do you want that? Yeah, yeah. Um, take. Yeah. Two hundred rupees. We just got a load of snacks. We've seen people eat this, so I grabbed one a nut and raisin cake. But all of that was 210 rupees, which I thought was really good. I was like, oh, we're at a train station, it's probably going to cost us 10 toms a mile. But yeah, it's actually pretty good. Show them what we got. I got the bingo snacks. These, they say tasty, so I'm sure they're going to be tasty. And then a bottle of water and two cans of Coke. So it's going to keep us going. And we've ordered two egg biryanis on here. Yeah, buzzing, buzzing. All right, let's go back to our seats. Oh, you did it better this time. Yeah, it was alright. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, yeah, the camera really. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't engage. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> We've got our egg biryani. We sat at the top. Ben's got yeah. over there. So that's what it is. See it, Ben? Be careful when you pull that, it don't splash everywhere. Oh, there's a spoon in there. Oh, oh good. We were like hunting for our spoons because we thought there was no spoons. <laughs> this is what we've got, egg biryani. So we've got boiled egg, rice, and then sauce here. It's actually got two boiled eggs. Oh, it's got two boiled eggs. <laughs> so we've got like a spicy sauce. We've got a rice with two eggs in it. See what it's like, the sauce. Mmm. I think it's really nice, actually. I'm really enjoying like the veggie meals at the moment. I wish we got some um, broti though. Good for 130 rupees. Perfect. Got a nut and raisin fruit cake. 
Um, when I set the girls earlier, they had the, um, I think it was just fruitcake, the first one, and it looked really nice, so I was like, I'm going to have to get one. But just to talk through like, a little bit of the chat I was having with the girls, it was really nice. Like, they're so family orientated. It was lovely to like understand a bit more of the Indian culture. Like, they call like aunties, sisters, cousins, or sisters, which is like beautiful. Oh, Dee Dee. I wanted to know a bit more about the arranged marriages. They're about like. 22 so they've got a while yet but they're in college and studying and they said around 24 it depends when the parents find the mail for them so they have to go through like a lot of process but they were saying because i was like oh you got anyone in line yet they were like no no we got like a few more years and it was quite funny to be honest they were just saying like both sides need to agree so if they don't like them they won't marry them but the mum has mum and dad has to look, look the parents and the family and it's like a really big process which i think is really good because like you don't get divorces here like rarely in england like you get married like that like you know each other for a week you get married here it's um a lot more it was six years before we got married so we met at a young age we met at the age of 16. we tried everything out before like living together before we like made such a big commitment and made sure our family and friends liked each other and it did and then we finally got married we've been married nine years in a couple weeks <laughs> it's our anniversary soon 11th of april so if you want to send me a present happy anniversary feel free and send me it all of them could speak english even the seven-year-old there she was probably like the most intelligent seven-year-old i've ever met in my life i literally sat there for about three hours and ben was like are you coming back and i was like well i'm actually having fun we were playing games and they'll show me what's it called red hand Hi. <laughs> Well, it's like four in the morning and we've arrived here in Lucknow. Oh, it's such a long journey. Yeah, it was long. It was like 17 hours, I think, in the end. It was an extra hour than I thought. We're well, really trying to get a tuk tuk. So, um. Get cheap. I just want, I want a tuk tuk. Looks like it looks like We need to go to, uh, Eco. Yeah. IDM Eco. You know? Who's the old man? ID, IDM Eco Resort. I am. I am. I, you know, how much? Good morning. Last night, totally knackered went straight to bed it was 5 a.m i i had enough i couldn't bother to speak to you Rian's still asleep it's 9 40 a.m i've just run to get our complimentary breakfast delivered to the room it's going to be here in a minute can't wait to show you it i don't know what it's, don't know what to expect i think it's going to be something traditional but to be honest this place is absolutely beautiful i'll just show you the view of our room i don't know if you can see it We've got like a garden view. I think they have like um, weddings and stuff here. It's quite a, like a, a, a big venue. Our breakfast has arrived. Parata, I think these are like potato paratas. I'm gonna try one for you. Just plain paratas, but they're warm. And like the paratas normally have, they've got like a salty outside. Very nice. Got this, I'm a bit curious about this. Looks like potatoes and some coriander and stuff. Yeah, definitely coriander because it's really, really strong. No Indian breakfast is complete without a chai tea. Oh, I need that this morning. I've only had three hours sleep because someone decided to wake me up at 9am when we got in at 5am. Make sure you watch the next video because today we are going to our very first RPL cricket game. I can't wait. Subscribe. One bit of advice that Next we- Next round, that's a break. Oh. Did it on one, two, three, go. Cost you a little bit more. One, two, go. Sorry. On the food. Ben, no. It's just, it's on me at the moment. Sorry, it's all right. No, it isn't. It's just that it's on me at the moment. You can speak whenever you want. You had about 10 hours. Obviously, no Indian breakfast is, isn't complete. It's complete. It's complete. No Indian breakfast isn't complete without... It's complete. It's complete. <laughs>